It is one of the most common weeds to find in the yard, Creeping Charlie. It's tough to get rid of, but it can be done. And reporter Sonia Goins goes in the garden to show us how to tackle this worrisome weed. Try and get rid of it, because I know it's going to come back. Creeping Charlie, ground ivy, no matter what you call this stuff, it's ugly, and it's hard to get rid of. Robbinsdale homeowner Sheila Kiefer says she wasn't taking any chances this year. I tried digging it out and didn't really have much success with that. Um, and so this year we called a lawn service. People have been trying to get rid of the weed for years. It was brought over here from England as a nice little house plant got out of control and here we have it. It can take over your yard in no time and the root system will cling to your yard like a vice. The root system is pretty fine and so unless you get the whole root system it's going to come back. Creeping Charlie likes shady moist soil but will grow just about anywhere. It's just an aggressive type weed and it usually grows in the poorer soils. Our summer weather has made it ideal for the weed to flourish. This year they're growing more than normal at this time of year, so people are still trying to spray it and still getting some, some results on it. Getting rid of Creeping Charlie is challenging, but it can be done. John Henning with Dundee Nursery recommends using chemicals. The weed-free zone is basically Trimac, and it has one more thing in there called Carfentrazone, which helps it be more effective. And it's best to use the chemicals before you cut the grass, so the liquid will have something to adhere to. It does not hurt your lawn, but it does reduce it normally in one shot versus three or four applications. In the garden, Sonia Goins, 12 News. And if you have some time to kill, you can always use your hands to pull out the weeds one by one, but you have to make sure you get those roots as well. Everybody's You've got that seen stuff. It, you oh, too. Yeah.